The world is going to change, that's a given. The world is changing rapidly, it's not always changing for the better. So how do we evolve to meet the change and how do we anticipate the change? Basically, we seek out chaos. We look for it. And so for us, it's an evolving kaleidoscope of opportunity. There's a lot of disruption happening, not just here, but everywhere. So we see the need to evolve and to diversify. It's absolutely necessary if we're going to survive in the next century. Disruption, that's an area where a lot of people are afraid. And that's an area where we're really good. Oceanit is an anomaly. Right? We're like an extreme case of an organization that's designed, built, created to bring change. I started Oceanit in 1985, doing a lot of coastal and environmental engineering. So I was able to combine everything and take an engineering discipline and basic science and solve a complex environmental problem. And then created a culture where people became comfortable with it too. And that means that they could do aerospace or environmental engineering, the chemistry or civil engineering, because the fundamentals are the same. It's just in traditional education, you're taught in silos, but the world doesn't live in a silo. There was no work for the traditional things. It was work for the untraditional, complicated, too hard to solve kinds of problems. And that became the thing we do. The core mission of Oceanet is to solve the world's toughest problems and to deliver breakthroughs. We have this multidisciplinary, transdisciplinary approach. We've got PhD level scientists and engineers that do all these different things, but it's this really interesting group of thinkers focused on solutions to hard problems and what does it mean to the world. How we do that is through diversity of people and ideas, perspectives, and that we have in spades here. Ideas come from differences, not sameness. So when you have different perspectives, different backgrounds, different disciplines, and you can get people to collaborate, it's a very rich environment for solving hard problems and generating ideas. Here at Oceanet, we look for people that are not just technically strong and creative, but we look to build teams that are diverse. And getting different types of people to work together is really the key to developing a culture that's innovative. A big part of Oceanet today is actually focusing on and spending time with customers and users and trying to understand their world. You listen for areas where people must solve a problem. Not want to solve, not wouldn't that be interesting. Absolutely got to solve it. And if they don't solve it, then there's a catastrophe. So we figure out how to provide solutions to the world in a meaningful way that's viable, affordable, useful. Mind to Market is a process that we've mapped out that allows us to go from fundamental science questions to products in the marketplace. You're crossing over from the science and technology world, from the laboratory on out into the real world. You can take this concept and apply it pretty much anywhere. So you can do this kind of work any place on the planet. We have a huge advantage being located here in Hawaii because we are freed from having to think like everybody else. And we're in an environment where it requires us to work together. If you believe that diversity is a foundation of innovation, then Hawaii is a perfect place to be. There's diversity in the culture, there's diversity in people. We have a very broad mindset and value systems in Hawaii. It allows us the freedom and the safety to do the kind of work we do. We've created an environment where people can be awesome to bring what I think is inside everybody to make a difference. You know, every day we work incredibly hard. We do these things because we know in the long term we're making a difference. The things we're working on, we're creating new categories that have profound impact in our community, to our country, and to the planet.